Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a review on the Saint Tropez mousse. This was requested a lot. Um, it's a product that I started using about a month ago I think and so far so good. So um, here's my full review. Okay, so I had used self tanners before. Uh, usually they would have been like gradual tanners or lotions. And the reason why I don't like lotion so much is because I don't like to have my skin feeling greasy or oily throughout the day. And I do have oily skin that includes my body as well as my face. So that just didn't really suit me. Um, also it would slip and slide and then it would streak. So I didn't like that. But um, this was recommended to me. It is the Saint Tropez Mousse, like I said. Uh, by a lot of people and I decided to give it a go. First of all, the whole idea of it being a mousse really appealed to me because it dries quicker and it's not slippery or, you know, greasy in any way. So, yeah, um, I really have mostly good things to say about this product. Um, I definitely like it. It's something that I've been using on a regular basis since I, since I first got it. Um, Basically, how I apply it is I apply it every twice a week, every week, and um, so like every three to four days, and I just put it all over my body. I usually do it at bedtime, so just before I go to bed, um, and when I have like nothing else to do, because it is quite uh, scary when it first comes out of here, but the color does develop over time. Um, like overnight. So when you first put it on, it's kind of like a, almost like a muddy look. Um, and it's a really easy product to use because you don't have to like rub it in or anything. You just apply it like all over your body. Um, I do it on my face. I usually start with my feet and then I work up. That's just how I do it. Um, and then the last thing I do is my face. And I only need like one pump not even for my face and neck that covers like the whole thing um and that works fine for me so that's what i do and then i don't like concentrate on rubbing it in or you know getting it perfect getting it even um because it, you really don't need to do that with this product so then i go to bed um it does stain your sheets which is a bummer <laughs> but um yeah you kind of, it washes off and it's not so bad once you get used to it and once you get used to um, kind of controlling it. So like I'll have a pair of PJs that I don't really wear that often and I'll wear those on my fake tan night. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of what I do. So then the next morning what I do is I shower as normal. Um, a bit comes off in the shower and I think that's normal but then you're left with just this really um, natural glow like you've been out in the sun or you know on a summer vacation, a summer holiday somewhere nice um, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, it's not orange for me, it's not streaky which is a big deal. Um, yeah, my only real concern, my only real complaint is that it gets on your bed sheets and also on clothes if you're not careful and on, on towels too. Um, I use my hands, I do not use gloves because I find it gives a nicer application. You can really, I don't know, you just feel like you're doing it better when you use your hands whereas when you use gloves there's that thing in between your hand, which is the applicator, and your skin, so it kind of gets in the way of it. Um, so that's what I do, and then to get the product off, I actually use toothpaste. So I wash my hands with toothpaste afterwards, and it sounds weird, but it really works. Um, I just use a, here it is. <laughs> it's just Colgate, um, and it's a whitening one. If you use a whitening one, I think it's better because of the bleach. So that's basically what I do. And every morning I do apply it on my face because when I cleanse my face and, you know, wash off my makeup and do all that fun stuff, um, it tends to come off. 
so it does come off usually at night time and then I just reapply it the next morning after I've like cleansed and moisturized and that kind of thing so great product very easy to use it is expensive I think it's about 20 pounds or something like that but I mean I get a good amount of product in one in one bottle which I think it's worth it so that's basically what I'm trying to say so that was my review I hope that was helpful um, also I wanted to share a just mini haul with you guys um, I got some things from the young and pure range um, on asos.com I have never tried anything by this brand before so I'm gonna try these out. I got the revitalizing body scrub and I also got the moisturizing body lotion. have not tried these yet. I will let you know how it goes. Um, what else? Then I got a lipstick which I'm actually wearing right now and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It kind of matches my, um, my top, I think, my t-shirt. It looks like this. It is by Bourgeois and it is Sweet Kiss. When I first got this, I was so confused. I did not know how to open it. Um, I was so confused. I was literally here for like 10 minutes trying to open it. Basically what you do is there's this little thing here and you push it up like that and then the lipstick comes out and it looks like that. So a little bit difficult to um, open but gorgeous color. Really like a rosy, raspberry, kind of pink, frosted pink. And then I also picked up um, this nail polish by OPI. It is in the color Privacy Please. And I'm going to be applying this today because I love this color. I wanted it for so long. So that was my video. I hope you liked it. Um, stay tuned for a lot more fashion videos. I'm recording planes going fast all the time. <laughs> I'm recording a lot of fashion videos at the moment that I think you guys will really, really like. So uh, yeah, talk to you again next time.